Amazon Bedrock is out. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get access to different Gen AI models in Amazon Bedrock, as well as how to implement Amazon Bedrock in your code. Also, before we get started, Amazon Bedrock is pay as you go and it is super cost effective. And for 1000 input and output tokens, the cost is less than one cent. And most of the task, it will be less than 1000 input tokens. For our demo, you will spend less than one cent if you try it out. In this demo, we are going to create action items from meeting transcript. As part of the demo, we are going to use various Gen AI model from Amazon Bedrock console, where we actually input the whole meeting transcript and Bedrock will generate the action items from that transcript. Then we are going to replicate that in a Lambda code, which will be doing the inference. One of the superpower of Bedrock is there are multiple models hosted in Bedrock and you can easily switch between that and we are going to demonstrate that as well. On the right, I'm showing a simplified architecture diagram. So your AWS Lambda will have the code using Boto3 API to send meeting transcript to Amazon Bedrock and Amazon Bedrock will send the action items back to Lambda. Now note that to do this, you do not need to uh, host a model or download a model or spin up expensive infrastructure. Bedrock does all that for you. You can literally get started developing your Gen AI app in minutes. All right, let's jump into the demo. Let's first go to Amazon Bedrock console. To go there, simply type Bedrock in the search bar and select Amazon Bedrock. When you are in the Bedrock for the first time, you may have to request access to the models. To get access to the models, click that left hamburger menu and then click model access and then select edit. Click this checkbox to check everything. Scroll down, click save changes. It might take a couple minutes, but then you will get access to all the available models. Bedrock comes with some predefined examples. So if I click these examples from the left, you could see action items from a meeting transcript, article summarization, content generation, etc. Now let's say you want to summarize an article. So simply select it and then open in playground. Note that you will only get this button for the models you have access to. Uh, scroll down, click run. All right, so it summarized the above text in five bullets. Now this is one of the awesome features of Bedrock. You can click this view API request and it is going to show you how you should invoke this model from your code. And more on this later when we explore the Lambda code. Another superpower of Bedrock is you can easily switch the model and try out. Uh, so let's say for example, I want to do the same thing, but this time with Anthropic model. Let's say I want to select Claude, click Run. All right, there we go. This time Anthropic gave us the output in a slightly different format. And if you want to know how to call this Anthropic cloud model, click the view API request and it is going to show you the API. Finally, let's switch to Cohere model and paste a meeting transcript and ask this model to create action items. And it gave us action item for each person. All right, so now we are going to replicate the same for our Lambda. Even though I'm showing this demo with Lambda, the same approach can be done for any compute service if you want to run your code in EC2 or in Kubernetes, in Elastic Kubernetes Service or ECS, etc. Now, this next part might change based on when you are running this demo. Bedrock just went GA. And if you search Boto3, uh, it is included in the latest Boto3, which is 1.28.57. At the time of recording this demo, Lambda is running with a earlier Boto3, which does not have Bedrock installed. So let's try it out first, and then I'm going to show you how you can import this latest Boto3. All right, I'm in my Lambda console. Click create function, and then create a function. I'm going to use Python for my runtime. And for this, you need to create a IAM role with which can access the Bedrock service. I already have such role created and I'm going to select the Lambda Bedrock role. Click create function. Okay, and then simply import Boto3. 
and then you can display the version of the Boto3 by running this uh, print command. Let's deploy our code and click test. Save this test event as test1, click save, run test. Okay, so our Boto3 version is 1.27.1. Again, if you already have Boto3 version 1.28.57 or above running when you are trying this demo, you do not need to do anything. But if your Lambda version is less than 1.28.57, like mine, you need to install the latest Boto3 in Lambda. Let's check it out how to do that. So I'm going to use a AWS repost article. How do I resolve unknown service from Boto3? For that, if I scroll down, I'm going to follow the steps of manually create a Lambda layer that uses the latest Boto3 version. All right, so let's copy these commands, go to AWS console, and uh, I'm going to use AWS shell for this, so click this cloud shell. All right, let's paste these commands. Let's go back to the ticket. Okay, then we are going to run pip3 install, and that is going to install the latest Boto3 in this directory. And you could see it's installing Boto3 version 1.28.57, which is the latest one. All right, and then we are going to cd into that directory and zip that uh, folder. All right, and finally, we are going to uh, publish that zip file as lambda layer. I'm just going to change the name of the layer to Boto3 Bedrock. All right, our layer is published. So let's go back to our Lambda function. And remember last time we ran, it showed the Boto3 version is 1.27.1. Now let's attach the layer. To do that, scroll up and click this layers icon and then click add a layer specify an ARN, and then copy the ARN from the Cloud Shell, and then press, and then paste it here. Click Verify, click Add. Our layer has been added, so now let's run the same code and see what Boto3 version we get. Click Test, here we go. We have the latest Boto3. If you attach a layer, it always searches the layer for the libraries first. Now we have to initialize connection to Bedrock. To find out how to do that, in the Boto3 documentation, type Bedrock, and then uh, click Bedrock. But see, this one, uh, if you initiate like this, there is no invoke model. Uh, for our demo, we need to invoke the model. So if I go back, uh, this is the Bedrock runtime client. Uh, so you have to initialize like that, then you can get invoke model. So I'm going to copy this, and we should always initialize in the global section. I'm going to change the name client to boto3 underscore bedrock to personalize a little bit. Let's go through rest of the code. I have provided the link to this code in my GitHub in the description. We are going to start with a simple prompt. What is AWS? This is what we are going to ask Gen AI models. Remember I said bedrock gives you how to call the API. And this changes model to model. So if I go to Amazon Bedrock, and let's say I'm using A21 Lab, Jurassic 2 Ultra, and I'm asking the model what is AWS, it gives the answer. Scroll down, view API request. For this model, uh, we should pass the model ID as A21.J2 Ultra V1, and the prompt should be in a key value pair where the key is body, and then the value should be a JSON object with prompt. Go back to the Lambda. That's why we are reformatting the prompt. The max token determine the maximum length of the output. Uh, if you do not mention it, your answer may be truncated. All right, scroll down, model ID, we are setting as Jurassic Ultra, and then we are setting accept and content type accordingly. Then we are invoking the model using invoke underscore model method and we are passing the body, model ID, accept, and content type. We are getting the response body and printing out the response. You may need to format this part because different model sends the response uh, in different JSON format. All right, uh, let's test our function. To see it a little bit better, uh, let's go to CloudWatch logs. 
All right, we could see that it uh, sent the answer. AWS stands for Amazon Web Services. It is a collection, etc. I mentioned one of the superpower of Bedrock is how easily you can switch models. Let's say we want to ask the same question, but we want to try out a Claude from Anthropic to see how it does. So I'm just going to comment this. And if I go back to Bedrock and uh, select Anthropic, and then let's say Claude V2, and then we are asking what is AWS, scroll down, click View API Request. All right, the model ID should be Anthropic.Claude V2, and then the prompt should be under body prompt, and this time we have to pass this human and assistant and max token to sample. Let's go back to our code. All right, so for Claude, we are formatting it accordingly, and we are going to set the model ID as Anthropic.Claude V2. Uh, let's deploy our changes, click test. Okay, uh, AWS stands for Amazon Web Services. It is a cloud computing section, uh, etc. Okay, so now that we have our basic prompts working, let's send a meeting transcript and see if Cloud can give us the action items for each person. So for that, I'm just going to comment out this prompt and you can get a sample meeting transcript from under examples, action items from a meeting transcript, you can select it and then you can just select the whole thing and copy it, go back to Lambda. Paste it here and then it says from the meeting transcript above, create a list of action items for each person. Everything else remains same. Let's deploy this function, click test. All right, here we go. We could see there are the action items. Let's go to the logs to see it a little bit better. All right, here we go. Miguel needs to document any other concerns. Brand needs to work with James to do some tasks. And Namita needs to improve the landing page. And you can always parse this JSON to get the field that you actually need, put error handling, etc. All right, folks. In this demo, we saw how you can harness the power of Bedrock and serverless and start creating your Gen AI application in minutes.